Hello everyone. I want to work on a couple of pages in my usual scraps journal today. Now I just want to warn you we are in the process of having renovations done in our house and the plumber is currently renovating the bathroom which is directly above my craft room. Um, we've had lots of banging and hammering going on all morning but it's relatively quiet so I'm going to give this a shot but it may well be that I have to resort to um, a voiceover so we'll see how it goes. Now let me just show you what um, I want to work on. Um, I think I've mentioned before that we order our olive oil and balsamic vinegar directly from Italy um, and this is the brochure that came with a recent um, order and it was wrapped in this tissue paper with this beautiful beautiful butterfly on the front so I want to see if I can incorporate this into my journal today just look at this beautiful cover as well I want to try and do something with this um, as well at some stage but I want to work with the butterfly today now what i am thinking is that i can maybe where's it gone i had found a page that i thought i might be able to use i'm going to have to shuffle pages around as well i think i think my butterfly will look absolutely gorgeous let me just peel it off the tissue paper i want to try and use this beautiful pink sticker as well just how gorgeous is that but it's about the right size to go on this piece of paper here this is the back of one of my marbled papers you know color wise that's absolutely lovely um as well because we've got the blues and the purples and that kind of thing going on now i want to use a back i need a background to cover up the paint and i found a perfect page in the brochure which I thought would be absolutely lovely let me just see where's it gone this background here which is just gorgeous so I'm going to tear this page out let's see if we can do something with with this now it's a bit short as you can see but I'm thinking that maybe I could add um, a little bit of washi tape at the top and the bottom color wise that goes really well it matches the butterfly as well so let's see what we can do and look this butterfly opens out like this now I don't know whether I want to perhaps cover the insides or just glue that down I'm not sure yet let's have a play I've cut this piece of paper down um, and of course I need to apply my washi tape. Now because my background is white and the washi tape is translucent you're going to see these marks through it so I've decided I'm going to use an alcohol marker. Let's choose the chisel at tip end and I'm just going to try and cover this here. If we see some of those marks it's okay um, but of course it'll get rid of um, the white background and of course a similar tone to this here as well. So, and this is quick and easy, dries permanently and quickly as well, um, rather than getting paint out. So, you know, this is my method. And I need to do the top as well. Let's do this, doesn't have to be particularly neat. We just need to cover up that white to glue the background on first and I've made myself a couple of marks where I need to glue just because we've got this white text here which I want to cover cover up so I need to make sure that um, it's going to cover up and work with the depth of my washi tape so I think that will be about right and I'm just going to glue this down with a regular glue stick so that's glued down and all I need to do now is just apply my washi tape to the top. I've cut um, a couple of lengths. I am going to um, just add some extra glue just to make sure that this doesn't come unstuck. So we'll just apply a bit of glue stick all the way along just to make sure that that's not going anywhere. Oop. I think I've got quite a lot of glue sort of on my parchment paper and let's stick this on as well and that should cover up all that um that mess there we go that's fine and i'll do exactly the same on the bottom my background looks so pretty i'm really happy with that and i have been putting my thinking cap on thinking what on earth can i do with this butterfly it's decorated on the back as well and i'm really reluctant to stick that down and cover that up so what i think i'm going to do is peel carefully peel this sticker off so that I can use this um, somewhere else and I think I'm just going to glue the centre of the butterfly down let me just pop that somewhere where I can still find it just so that we are just gluing the centre of the butterfly and you'll still be able to see that beautiful detail underneath I think what I'm going to do 
is grab my scoreboard and just carefully score down the down the center of the butterfly where's my my tool scoreboard tool so let's try and centralize this and i'm just going to score here like this and that will make my butterfly bend and give it a bit of um, dimension and then i can glue this down in the center of of my page and that way we'll be able to lift it up and you'll still see that wonderful detail. I think I'm also going to have to glue this down as well. I'm just going to use a glue stick for that. Let's just apply some just on the edges so that if I change my mind, I might be able to peel it up. If anybody has got any ideas as to what you think I should have done, do let me know. Um, so let's just glue that down. And then I'm just going to put some glue just in the centre just to hold my butterfly in place and I think that will be a really pretty um, little page. I'm going to use a stronger glue just for this just because it's heavy cardstock so it needs something just to hold it in place, something a little bit stronger than glue stick. So we'll use this but I'm only applying it in the centre. Now where do I want my butterfly to go? about there like that and I'm just going to weight that down underneath a heavy book just for um, a few minutes. That is a beautiful page full of dimension, really happy with how that turned out. I just want to add a quote and I've got this sheet here and I'm thinking bursting with colour um, and let's see what else we can find simple creations bursting with colour because that's what this journal is all about it's just simple creations bursting with colour there we are I've glued down my quote simple creations bursting with colour I haven't inked around the edges either for the simple reason being that we've got this beautiful bright white that's in the butterfly and so I wanted to emulate that with the quote as well this of course needs to go in the centre of the journal so I'm just going to move this one out of the way for the time being and I'm going to pop it here just so that it's got pride of place we can just pop this one behind it and I think that will be fine. I can always move it around again um, if I want to. That's the joy of having an elastic binding. And for anybody that wants to know how I made my journal, how I did the binding, you'll find links to the process video in the description box below. Now, I also want to add the spring cards I made last weekend. I know that um, some of you were eager to see how I would incorporate these into a journal. The washi tape, of course, is the same as the one I used here, so it makes sense to add them in this section. I'm going to take this page out here and let's see what we can do. These are just a little bit wide for the page that I want to put them on um, and this is one of the widest that I've got in my journal and I know that I've got this beautiful stitching around the outside but I'm going to take it to the paper trimmer and cut it off. You know sometimes we do things don't we and it just doesn't work out um, when you come to add them to a journal and that is okay. I've cut these down and they're now the perfect size. I'm not going to do anything to that white background because I think these look really fresh and crisp. The only thing I will do is just ink around the edge of the, um, the cards. These are now firmly glued down and I don't know whether you can see if I hold it up. There's a little bit of branding. This was a wallpaper sample that um, I used. That's the front of it and this is the back so it's got the wallpaper reference on it. It's such a pale grey that you can barely even see it and at the end of the day this is a junk journal and it really doesn't bother me. It just adds a bit of interest to the background I think. So let's pop this back into the journal and for anybody who's interested in seeing how I made these cute little bunny pages I'll leave the link to the video in the description box below. So next up I want to do something with this page here so let me just um, remove this. Um, now this here was from a clothing magazine I just absolutely love the pattern on the front and back and you can see that I've already finished this page so I just want to do something with this one here and I've got um, this beautiful flower that was on a greetings card and I just think that's going to work absolutely beautifully it works beautifully with that background so I just need to um, add a bit of interest and jazz this up a little bit this background has got a shiny surface and I don't think that that goes particularly well with the flower so what I'm going to do um, is add a piece of napkin over the top of it now this is just the piece left over 
from the bunny napkins that um, that I did here. So I'm just going to glue this on using some um, matte medium. This is the Winter and Newton Galleria matte medium. So I'll just pour a small amount just onto the background here and spread this on. I might need a bit more actually. I'm just going to spread this on with a paintbrush and stick stick this napkin down. Let me just be careful not to go over this page here as well. I don't want to spoil spoil this one. We can pop it into that crease as well. Let's just spread spread this out and then I'm going to move this to um, a clean piece of parchment paper which I've just got um, here and then pop my napkin down carefully. Let's see if I can get it right up close to that that edge and just really gently. Now the good thing about matte medium, good thing about matte medium is that it's not overly sticky so hopefully we won't end up with too many wrinkles and if we do it really doesn't matter because it all adds to the um, texture. Let's add a little bit more. Not so much this time. And be really gentle when you do this because napkins tear really easily, as we know. So using a very soft brush with a with a light, a light touch, a bit more matte medium here. And this should give me a really nice matte matte finish for my background. But you can still see that beautiful green, that moss green poking, poking through. It looks so much better now that um, I've got napkin on the top and to get rid of the excess I'm just using an emery board and it comes clean away. I'm really happy with the texture of this background. It feels really nice as well. Now I just want to add a little bit of detail. I've got some Spazon ink here in olive green and I've also got one of the Kaiser Crafts um, dictionary stamps. I just want to add some tone on tone stamping. Not, um, not everywhere, just a little bit of detail here and there. And then my flower then can go on top. So now that I'm happy with my stamping, I'm just going to glue this on just in all of these fiddly areas here, just to make sure that it sticks. So I'll just apply some art glitter glue all the way around the edge. So let's just pop, pop this down. And then I've got myself a little quote, um, which says bloom. I'm going to glue this down as well. I've inked around the edges. I didn't bother inking around the edge of the flower. I didn't think it really needed it. And I'm going to put my little quote just here in that little nook. And a really simple page, but I like it. For my next page, I want to use this watercolour flower that I did on um, Asian book paper a few weeks ago. I'll leave the link to the video showing how I made this. Um, I've got this old handkerchief box as well. There were some ladies' handkerchiefs in this and I just cut the front off. Now, I want to put something on the top to decorate it. And the easiest way to do this is to peel the acetate off. We can glue that back on um, a little bit later. Later. So just be careful if you've got something like this, you know, Tunnock's Tea Cakes boxes are absolutely perfect for this kind of thing as well. But you can just peel the acetate off, as I say, just really, really carefully. So I'm just going to go off camera now and do this so that I don't end up screwing it, um, screwing it up. I'm just going to pop that to one side, somewhere safe so that I don't lose it, so that we can glue that back on a little bit later. Now, I've got some handmade paper that was gifted to me in Happy Mail. I think it was Weenie Langman that, um, that made this. And I just think colour wise, it's just absolutely beautiful. So I am going to glue some of this down onto the top. I'm going to use a mixture of art glitter glue and um, Pritt stick just because I want to make sure that my handmade paper doesn't lift and isn't going anywhere so we'll add the glue stick as a as a base just making sure that we've got plenty around all of the edges and then I'm just going to add a layer of art glitter glue just around the very edge as well and hopefully this will be strong enough to hold my handmade paper in place. And I'm just going to swap this over to a piece of clean parchment paper just so that you know I don't get things stuck where I don't want them. And I'm just going to place this on, on top. 
and you can just see all the wonderful detail that's in this handmade um, paper. I presume it's pieces of magazine paper and all kinds of things. So I'm just going to weight this down underneath a heavy book um, for it to dry. And then, of course, I can trim around the edges and on the inside as well. So I'll be back shortly once, um, once this has, has glued down. I've had this weighted down underneath a heavy book, so I'm now going to attempt to cut around the edges hoping that this paper doesn't uh, fall apart it should be fine I'm just going to be really careful about how I, I do this that's how that looks and to do the inside I'm just going to use a craft knife I think that will be easier I'm working on um, my mat as well but let's have a look and see if I can if I can do this successfully wish me luck and hope I don't tear it yeah, this is this is fine. Oh no! Now, well, as you can see, I've torn it, so I'm going to see if I can salvage it. I'm going to cut around this now with my scissors and see if I can patch up that um, that one edge. Let's cut that middle bit out, and then I wonder if I can actually use an emery board and sand it. That might actually be be easier. Here we go. That is coming away really, really nicely. Let's see if we can repair this. I think um, we can. So I'm just going to add some glue stick just over the areas here. I'm just going to be patient and wait for the glue to dry. Then I'll file it again from the back. And then I'm going to seal it as well with some matte medium. Thank goodness for that. I've managed to repair it. So I'm just going to add some matte medium now over the top working um, inwards and then outwards around the edge, just so that I don't end up peeling anything anything up. Now, before I glue the back back on, I just want to ink around the edges. So I'm just going to use some Distress Ink in frayed burlap, and that will just hide any imperfections around the edges. The matte medium is really hard in this as well. So that was um, a wise move, I think. Um, I hope you don't mind me keeping that um, little faux pas in the video, but I think it's always good to just know how to fix things. You know, sometimes we think, oh, just bin it and start again. But, um, you know, this, in my opinion, was worth worth saving and it turned out to be an easy fix as well. Before I glue the acetate back on, I'm just going to give the back of it a wipe just to get rid of any dust and, you know, fingerprints that might, might be on there. And then I'm going to apply my glue all the way around the edge. Um, how do I want to do this? I'm going to use art glitter glitter glue and I'm just going to follow the line that was there before. Let's see if I can get this back on neatly. Again I'm just going to add a touch of glue around the edge and then stick my painting down. Your fingers crossed let's see if I can if I can do this. I want my flowers to go on this page here, so I'm just going to take this out of the journal just so that I can fiddle around with this. Let me take this out carefully because, of course, I've got my delicate um, die cut on the back. I pulled out all kinds of things from my flourish journal to try and find something to mount this on, and I think I'm settled on this piece here. But the background is jarring with me. Those stripes are just not working. So I'm going to do my washi tape trick. I've got this piece of really really cheap washi tape which is from the pound shop this will definitely need some extra adhesive but i'm just going to glue some all the way around the washi tape is down so the moment of truth let's have a look and see if this works I love it. I absolutely love the polka dots. I think that's given it um, a really modern touch and it's pulled it all together. Now, I know that some of you are probably thinking, well, what was the point of covering up that background? The background just gives you a jumping off point. It gave me a colour scheme to work with um, because I needed to work with, with blues. And I would not have ended up with this page if I hadn't have gone through that process. Don't worry if you cover things up. You know, it really, really doesn't matter. And um, the important thing is getting some that's cohesive and that you like. Here we 
know what? That is my finished page. And you can see that I've just added a quote. It's all about the journey. I've also um, stamped a little sampler um, number on there as well using this stamp here. I got asked about this stamp the last time I used it. It was just a cheap one from AliExpress. I don't know whether they still have it. Um, it's quite um, an old one. So there's that page there. And of course, these ones here. Now, I just want to briefly talk about this page here. I asked your advice during my last journaling session. Should I keep this one tucked in or the lavender? And it was pretty much 50-50. Well, I have decided to go with this one here just because I've got um, another idea for the lavender. But what I do want to do is just add some washi tape to this left-hand side here. I am obsessed with them um, with washi tape at the moment. This is another one from the washi tape shop, but I just think it pulls all of the colours together. The pink from the um, blossom, the purple from the tulip. So I'm just going to glue a piece of this down. The page is now safely back in the journal and this is where I want to pop my lavender, um, which was the option that I shared the last time I did this when I was completely undecided as, what, um, as to what I wanted to do. In fact, I tucked it in that pocket for, just for safekeeping until I'd made a decision. So let's take this out and have a play around with this. Now I've waded through my flourish journal and these are the pieces that I found that I thought I might be able to back it um, on. Let me just fold that, um, that over there and put maybe a piece of plain paper underneath just so that we can see what we're dealing with. So it's it's this piece here. Now we've got this beautiful paisley paper bag so we could cut a piece of the paper bag out and use that. We could even use a plain envelope which would look really pretty, you know, colour wise, that is absolutely perfect. Or we could use this, which again is um, from a clothing magazine cover. I save all of these things and you see that works absolutely beautifully too. Um, lots of the little acorns you see match the paper, this paper bag, this is just a paper bag as well. Decisions, decisions, I really do not know what to use. And again, this is where I really wish that you were screaming at me to help me make a decision. I think I'm going to go for this one here because we've also got the olive green that's in the I stem. I glued my background on and I had a spare one of these specimen stamps. Um, this one isn't quite perfect. I don't know if you can see that um, it didn't stamp particularly well, but I like it colour wise. Um, the background goes really well with the stems and of course the leaves. Um, in the background itself so that is my finished page so let's add this to the journal as well now where was this going to go let me just um, see where I had it there we have it that is now back in the journal I have to say um, I think this is my favorite page of all the ones that I've done today um, but you know I love the way that the bunnies look in the journal as well and this one here is gorgeous and of course the one on the back um, where's it gone this gave me so much trouble but I just absolutely love how this has come together um, I've not got many pages left this has come together so well this year year um, and I hope you're enjoying the process too. As you've probably gathered I'm leaving the video here for today thoroughly thrilled to bits with all of the pages that I've put together in today's journaling um, session and just you know all of the little tweaks that I've made to some of the existing pages so if you enjoyed today's video as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know if you have a particular favorite page don't forget to go and check out Kylie's video this week of course and see what she's been up to but most importantly thanks for watching. Take care everyone and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.